Experiment 626 was the first of a new species. His creator Jumba Jukiba explains he is bulletproof, fireproof, and can think faster than a supercomputer. He can see in the dark and move objects 3,000 times his size. In short, he was an unstoppable monster. After some destruction and chaos, he eventually mends his ways, becomes Stitch, finds an Ohana, and we eventually learn of one of his weaknesses that could end his life. On the day of Stitch's creation, Jumba's lab was raided by police, and during the arrest of Jumba, the police halted a key process in Stitch's creation. Those idiot police! The charging of Stitch's molecules had not been completed when they took Stitch into custody. His circuits are going haywire! <gasps> Can you fix them? I must! Or my little Stitch will shut down. Unfortunately, Jumba and Stitch's best friend Lilo seemed to be too late to save him once the device to recharge Stitch's molecules was finally complete. But suddenly, he miraculously came back to life. But how is it possible? It's not. There has to be a reason though. There just has to be. I know how I can figure this out. I'll get one of the biggest Stitch fans I know, Adam. He's my brother. I want your help to explain to these fun people how Stitch came back to life in Stitch Has a Glitch. Alright, let's do it. Hello, I'm Isaac. And I'm Adam. From Watso Videos, where we discuss fun topics for fun people, and today we are going to theorize on what brought Stitch back to life from the brink of death. If you'd like to learn more about Stitch in the comfort of your own home, we have provided all the links to the movies and resources we have used in the description. And to continue discussing Disney with me, make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Especially Instagram, and follow me, Adam Los Pasta. At first, we thought back to another experiment we see created in the Lilo and Stitch saga, Leroy. Maybe during Leroy's creation, Jumbo could provide some further explanation for how the charging process works. Well, Jumbo didn't, and it seemed like they just skipped over the whole part of an experiment creation, but maybe it was just new technology and it worked right away when Leroy took on a physical form. Since Leroy and Stitch couldn't provide an answer, we then turned to Lilo and Stitch the series. In season 2, episode 10 of Lilo and Stitch the series titled Snooty, we learned an interesting compound called Snootonium. Snootonium is a rare intergalactic energy source. Is it dangerous? Oh no, until enriched, then it's becoming extremely unstable and extra big dangerous. That's cool to learn about, but what does this have to do with Stitch? Well, the Experiment 227, or Snooty, could actually detect and mine Snootonium, and when Lilo and Stitch located Snooty, Stitch is sucked dry by the experiment. Maybe this material is how Jumba creates his experiments, and this was the material Jumba had to charge. It turns out Snooty can mistake Snootonium from mucus, and Stitch is made up of quite a bit of mucus. Snootonium? He's very similar in chemical composition to earth mucus. So why is he wiped out? His body is 62.7% mucus. So he is now, shall we say, dehydrated. Since the substance within Stitch was actually mucus instead of snootonium, well then this couldn't be the answer. We got even closer to an answer with the origin of Stitch, which was an animated short released on the DVD of Lilo and Stitch 2, Stitch has a glitch. In the short, both Stitch and the audience learn Stitch is actually a combination of a variety of different alien species. We thought maybe one of the species within Stitch could possibly revive itself or be reborn, but again, we didn't find anything. Although we came up short again, we realized maybe it wasn't something within Stitch that brought him back. Maybe he was revived or reborn because of Lilo. Even when Jumba shuts off the machine that recharges his molecules and Jumba insists, Lilo, well, there's nothing you can do. Lilo still apologizes for being so hard on him during his glitching, insists he is her Ohana, and states he will always love her. So is it somehow her love that keeps Stitch alive? In a story that constantly turns to Jumba's science for an explanation, how could Lilo's love actually save him? Then we realize Stitch's unexplainable recovery is explained by a Hawaiian legend Lilo describes in Stitch Has a Glitch. Once there was a beautiful goddess named Hiiaka and a handsome mortal named Lohia. They were as close as two people could be. But one day, Pele, the volcano goddess, 
grew jealous of their friendship. So she took Lo Hiao and threw him into a volcano. He Iaka discovered his body in a cavern by a sea cliff. And she stayed with him, praying to the gods to bring Lo Hiao's spirit back. And it worked. Her love brought him back to life, proving that love is more powerful than death. Lilo prayed for a miracle, and because of her strong love for Stitch, he came back to her. And this is easily within the power of the Polynesian gods described in the Hawaiian legend. In Polynesian religious practices, if a soul expert feels the person should not have died, he or she can find the soul, snatch it between cupped hands, and reinsert it into the body. If human beings are believed to be able to possess this ability, then surely the gods could have revived Stitch like the characters of the myth. The gods bringing back or saving a mortal is a power available to the gods like Lilo's legend states, and is even an idea that is brought up in another Disney film with a Polynesian setting. Maybe the gods found you for a reason. Maybe the ocean brought you to them because it saw someone who was worthy of being saved. In the film Moana, after Maui was tossed away by his family, the gods chose to save him because they knew he would be a hero for mankind. But how do we even know Moana and Lilo and Stitch are discussing the same gods? Both films exist within the same Polynesian region, and we know David, Lilo's sister's boyfriend, is aware of Maui because he wears a hook necklace that resembles Maui's. The characters of Lilo and Stitch know Maui, his feet, and the gods who rescued him. So did the gods see the same type of hero within Stitch? Of course! We know Stitch has protected the defenseless turtles like Moana did when she was chosen to be the champion for the ocean, meaning the gods knew Stitch had a good heart. And it was after Stitch has a glitch where Lilo and Stitch convert hundreds of Jumba's experiments that could have destroyed Earth to good. If the gods wouldn't revive Stitch, mankind could have been destroyed by Jumba's experiments. Stitch's unexplainable revival is not because of a physiological attribute within Stitch. It was the love of Lilo. Similarly to Lilo's legend and Maui's origins, it was through Lilo's love that the gods became convinced to examine Stitch's potential. And when they saw he could be a hero, they revived him. If you are interested in staying up to date with more magical Lilo and Stitch videos, then click that subscribe button and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. And don't forget to follow Adam Loves Pasta. So now it's time for the question of the day sponsored by my patrons. Do you think Stitch was revived by Polynesian gods? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, along with any other ideas you have for future videos. If you'd like to see more Watso videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.